Python is one of my favorite programming languages to use. So let's take a look at some of the best Python IDEs you should consider using in 2023. First up, we have PyCharm. This is one of my favorite IDEs that I pretty much use for all of my projects. PyCharm is one of the largest IDEs on this list, but it offers a ton of different features. One of my favorite features within this specific IDE is the ability of running my code and seeing it within the output down below. Although a lot of other IDEs can do this, it is still super nice that we have that type of capability within this specific project. We also have the ability of completely customizing so many components within this specific project. We can run different versions of Python. We can manually install other versions of PyCharm specific plugins, but also Python packages within this IDE as well, which is super nice. There are tons of updates constantly within PyCharm as well. So this is by far one of my favorite features within this IDE. It is usually the first IDE that I use for most of my Python projects. If you want to download it, you can check it out in the description below. The next IDE that I use constantly is Visual Studio Code. So this IDE, very similar to the other IDE, this one is a little bit different since this one is just more of a code editor rather than a full-fledged IDE, but there are a lot of features out there as well. So this specific is built by Microsoft and it supports a lot of different languages. Not only can you natively use Python within VS Code, but you have a lot of other languages you can also install and use within this specific editor as well. From a lot of different projects I've been associated with, both in my private life and also public projects I've made, VS Code is usually one of the industry standards. Like I said, I usually use PyCharm, but VS Code is a very solid option that you have here as well. It is also fairly lightweight, so for a you know editor that you don't have to go ahead and utilize as many crazy features in, VS Code is a very solid option, and it's usually one that I've seen many, many people use. Now, finally, we have Spider. Now, I haven't downloaded this one in a long time. It's not the one that I normally use, but this is an IDE that is very beautiful. And just looking at it from here, I've used it a little bit of you know a year ago and a year before that. It is a very beautiful IDE. It's very similar to RStudio. If you're familiar with RStudio, that is essentially the IDE that we use for running our R code. If you're a data scientist who uses R, with Spider, it is very similar to that layout. So we can build out our code. We can see our variables right here. We can see graphs coming out from the right bottom right as well. It is another really awesome thing. There's a lots of other features built in natively. You have lots of different plugins you can use. So you can run your code within the terminal. You also have notebook support here as well. And it is available within Mac OS, Windows, I believe Linux too. So those are some of the best IDEs I would probably recommend using within 2023. Please let me know if you have any questions or thoughts.